it's Chloe here at K Johnson G, one of your Zero Certified Advisors, and I'm going to be showing you how to edit an invoice on Zero. So, you just go into the dashboard onto Zero. I'll first show you how to edit a sales invoice and then a purchase invoice. So, to get to your sales invoices, you can go into Business Sales Overview. And we're going to edit an invoice which is awaiting payment for now. So if we go into this marine systems invoice for the 7th of November, I will show you some of the things that you can edit on this invoice. So an invoice that is awaiting payment, you can edit pretty much about anything on the invoice. Um, when it's been paid, it's slightly different. I'll show you that in a second. So you can edit the date on the invoice, select from here or I'll type it in manually. You can edit the invoice number. Um, this is just a generated invoice number from zero. So if you wanted to edit that um, to match your invoice number, you could do that. Um, you can also edit the reference, which is here. And the branding, if you've got a certain branding for, as you can see, special projects or this very orange invoice that's saved in your settings, you can also change that. Um, the description, you can change that as well. So we're going to change that to be a bit more specific. Less coded. And the quantity also, you can change that. Um, when you change the quantity price, obviously it changes the unit price. Um, so you might need to bear that in mind when you're updating the invoice. Um, the unit price you can change, you can add a discount in there if there is one. Um, uh, the account, you can also, there is also an option to change that if you needed to do that, if it wasn't going to a sales code for some reason. Um, and the tax rate, of course, you can change. Um, along with the region, which is a setting on this invoice. Um, this has been set up as a tracking option. So we wanted to add the south region for this marine systems invoice um, to be able to track that and do. Um, the amount you can also set to tax exclusive, tax inclusive, no tax. Um, so if we set this to tax exclusive, it's going to add the 20% on to the net amount here. That is inclusive. Um, it's just going to be 20% of that amount. So we're just going to update that invoice. And that is how you edit a sales invoice that is awaiting payment. Um, for sales invoices that have already been paid, I'm just going to go to sales overview again. can see click into paid here on the left we've got a port and fill it right one now when you do try and edit uh, an invoice that has been paid um zero if we click into invoice options edit zero will tell you um or it should do it shouldn't well yeah it doesn't give you the options um to edit certain things so the account, it allows you to change the account, allows you to change the description if you needed to, and the due date, but the date of the actual invoice, um, the, I wouldn't change this section. I think yeah, there isn't an option really to do that unless you really need to, but I, I wouldn't see why there would be a reason to do that. Um, and of course the reference, the branding theme you can change. But there's a very limited amount of things that you can change when an invoice has been paid, of course, because it has been paid. Um, and the amount, you can't change the amount because it's already been paid on the 20th of October. But I thought that was something that um, I could show you to just make you aware of that, that there are some things that you can change on a paid sales invoice, not a lot. Cancel this. I will go into purchases and show you how to edit a purchase invoice. So if we're going to purchase this overview under business here, on the top bar, purchase invoice that's awaiting payment. And it's the same principle for purchase invoices that have been paid. 
um, to the sales invoices. You can only edit certain um, sections of that purchase invoice. So we've got a waiting payment, um, a purchase invoice from Net Next. So edit this. Click into the invoice. Fill options. And edit. Again, um, this is a repeating transaction, which is something that um, is part of another video. But you can edit repeating transactions. You can change the date, you can change the reference. Um, there's also an option to attach them here. And you can do this at a later date if you've already approved an invoice. Um, you don't actually have to even go into the edit section, you can just drag and drop into this attachment section. So you can change the description and um, the currency amount as well if, if you are on multi-currency, this um, the account isn't. The unit price you can change in here, so I'm just going to change that to And the tax rate as well, you can also change the account if you want it to browse through these accounts or you can search the account here. So again I'm just going to search for telephone and internet and it will come up here. And the tax amount you can change to increase and exclusive and um, depending on what you want or how you want to do your invoice or purchase invoice or sales invoice. So um, at the top here when you have edited this amount you will have to match it up with this one for that. Um, and the reference, I'm just going to change this to 489.2 and there you can update that. And you'll be able to see um, that all of this has changed now, it's been approved and that is how you edit an invoice which is a way to payment in your purchases. When you purchase this overview um, you can see bills that have been paid. Again, if we just go into this Truxton property management one, try and edit that. There are very limited amount of things that you can edit because it has been paid. Um, again, you can edit the supplier, but it's not something that we recommend um, unless you really need to do that. So the description you can edit fine, just the same. Um, it doesn't really make a difference to whether it's been paid or not. It's more the amount, the unit price, editing that, that is the most um, restricted area that you can edit, just because it already has been paid. If the, um, I'm just going to come out of that, if the payment was allocated wrong, um, you can go into that and remove that, just um, So it appears again as a bank transaction. This would be the option to do that, remove and redo. Um, again, this is just um, a video to really show how you can edit an, a sales invoice and a purchase invoice. So thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed.